Hey guys, Crypto here, Cryptogasmic. Sunday morning, I'm here in Miami today. Uh, beautiful Sunday morning, I love Sundays. Football, crypto, have a bit of a sleep in, it's fantastic. Uh, right, so we're gonna do a Sunday morning talk, uh, look at the week that's been, look at the week that's coming and where we're at now. So those of you that are in Cryptogasmic, well, before I start, just a welcome to all the new members. Uh, great to have you. and. Hope you're uh, learning and, and hope you're making some more successful trades. There's a message there saying, I'm in the trade. Thank you, Scott. My pleasure. Um, that's why we're here, to help everybody try to learn and not just jump in because somebody says buy here or sell there, but understand it, contribute to the community, try to help people from making mistakes. We all make mistakes, um, but that's why we're here. So for Christmas, um, I'm willing to give any new members a 10 day or two week, uh, free trial membership. So you have access to everything, the VIP chat, uh, all of the trade singles, signals, the educational videos, the update videos, just to get a feel for what we do. And if you love it, great. If not, no problem. So if you're interested in, uh, in joining us, drop me a message on Telegram or an email at crypto with a K, or just send it to contact at cryptogasmic.com or go to cryptogasmic.com, sign up for a free membership, I'll drop you an email and upgrade you if you want for free so you can check it all out. All right, so let's uh, have a look at the week that's been, what's happening now and where we're gonna go in the next week. Up baby, up, 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 up. Bullish, 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 bullish. That's all I can say. So let's have a look at what we did last week. So I got the signals here. So last week we went short on EOS, uh, NEO, ZEC and ETC. So a quick look at those. Uh, we're on Bitcoin right now. Let's have a quick look here. Just a uh, look at the week that's passed. Uh, current trades. Okay, that needs to be updated. Okay, so if we have a look, uh, Let's have a look at the Zcash, one of my favorite coins to trade because of the way it moves. Um, we shorted all of this last week. We made about 20% profits with a, uh, a three times leverage. So even when the market was falling and everybody's panicking, we were making money, fall baby, fall baby, fall. Uh, and then we got out, we took our profits around here somewhere and got out the market. So we did the same with uh, ETC and a bunch of others and we shorted. So a couple of days ago, we decided to go long Again, um, so I guess the main thing we've got to look at, and I'll just look at Zcash as an example, because it's a good example. We'll start on the daily and we have a look. And there is a lot of consolidation going on, guys. So it's not even such a bad thing just to stay out right now if you want to. But overall, I am still long, 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 long. Let's go to the 12 hour. So it's not so funky. Um, so we're still in this consolidation kind of area, aren't we? Right? So you can see, so once we finally do break out of this around that $70 mark, bang, <laughs> moon baby, right? That's when we're gonna get back up to the, the 80, $90 and we go long, long, long. Not really advising anybody to, to go short on these unless you're day trading like me. Uh, this is my job, it's what I do to, to, to make a living because COVID-19 destroyed my other businesses. so. This is what I do, but hey, we take the positive and now I'm loving it. So lots of green cloud on the horizon. We seem to have bottomed out here on Zcash. A lot of sell signals, but if we look at the earlier time frames, there's a lot of buy signals starting to come as well, right? What we're really looking for is the break of these EMAs and the hold of the support. You can see if we go back and have a look, right? Support, support, support. Once it falls through, it really falls through, right? Now it's tried a couple of times and then it fell through again. So you really, if you're gonna go short, the points you wanna look at are these, these EMA uh, points. Same with resistance on the way up. These are the points you really wanna look at and your trend lines, right? Very basic, simple stuff. Uh, so you can see we're holding the support on the, the 200 EMA, which is good after falling right through it. So we wanna see a couple of candles close there around the 67 before we get really bullish. And we really need to break out of you can see we've got a Fibonacci line right here at 71. 
So this 70 to 71, I expect it to kind of bounce in here and we're really hoping for the up. Bit of red cloud up here, so it might not happen the first time. We might go like this. And all it does is wash people out the market, right? All of these people that chase this all the way up, right? Uh, are getting wiped out here. And all of these people that got in earlier are still in profits. You don't even need to do anything. You just hold out, baby, hold out. So let's have a look at Bitcoin quickly. What it's doing, where it's going. So same thing. Let's get rid of the logarithmic for now. Okay, so you can see we've just made a, a great break out of this on Bitcoin. And as soon as it did, bang, off it went, right? So we've been traveling downwards in this channel. Okay, so we're long, we're, we are long. I mean, if you wanna go short, the points, obviously you're gonna look at, are these, there's a very strong line through here. Right. These are the points to look out for, for your, for your prep profits and, and stuff like that. So obviously there. So we're kind of hitting that 19,500 mark now. Uh, if we break through that, boom, we're off to 20,000. So, you know, we might get a bit of resistance there and we might fall back down to 18,9, 18,8. Um, we got into this long yesterday at 18,400-ish, right about here, right? Just before it tanked down, hopefully people didn't panic and stayed in or even bought some more. So our next fib line is the 20 grand line from here. So we've just got to break these, these high points here, which I think we can do, and then we're off. Uh, Ethereum is another big one we got into yesterday. I got in at 533, first target 594, uh, which is simply based on these tops, no ma ma major science to it. So these are all our resistance points coming up here now, 602, 613, 624. So at these points, you want to start putting a trailing stop in if you got in. I wouldn't be say going short on these at all. Um, you know, we are way above the EMAs, right? If we go to the dailies, um, I mean, we are way above the green cloud, but again, we've just broken out of that. So we may get this run to 600 and then a pull back in down to 570, down to 530, but I'll send you a message on that if I think we should go short. Otherwise, just sit, just sit, just sit, just sit. Again, we have had a big run up here. So, you know, there does need to be some retracement. I wouldn't be surprised if we see $480 again on Ethereum at some point. And I think when it happens, it's gonna happen in a hurry. People are gonna panic. Don't panic, guys. If that happens, even if you're in a long, just buy it, man, right? So you can see here uh, the support level is around about 450. So I wouldn't be surprised to see this 485, 480 mark again. Uh, OMG is a coin I love to trade because of the volatility. Um, we sent out a signal on this one yesterday. Uh, here. Okay, we sent the single out, signal. I don't know why I keep saying sing, single. Signal out at $3.15. We're now up to $3.28. You can get three times leverage on that. I'm not sure about Binance, but on Bitfinex, you get three times leverage. Uh, we got it at 315, right? This was flagging perfectly in here, right? This was a real, this was a no brainer. Uh, so we're up 12, 13% already in one day. You know what I mean? So if you put a thousand dollars into that and you leveraged it by three, um, you're up three, 400 bucks, 300 bucks. Boom, easy, right? It's easy money guys. As long as you know what you're doing and you don't panic and you can keep your emotions under control. Uh, Litecoin we got into. So that's it. So where are we going for the week ahead? Uh, Bitcoin, I think for the week ahead. I mean, we have had a really good run here and I really would expect some resistance around this 19.4, 19.5. We're holding a really good support level at 18.8, 18.9. So I think we, we are going to wash out a lot of day traders that are making the wrong moves. Um, but I am, you know, this could form into a cup and handle, which would mean it's then probably going to have a little pullback in here somewhere, right? Before it takes off up in this direction. So I do think 20 grand is, is coming. I don't think it's going to be easy. I think we're going to bounce around this 19K 
18 to 19. Uh, I'm not going to mess around with Bitcoin on, on the margin trading too much because when you're margin trading three or four Bitcoins and it moves 500 bucks, you lose a couple of grand very quickly, right? So uh, anything I'm really sending out for Bitcoin are going to be exchange buys, which means um, I'm actually buying the asset. So the difference between margin trading and exchange trading, I mean, the, the, the number one reason is when you're just doing a normal exchange trade, you're actually buying the asset. So you own the Bitcoin. When you're margin trading, you're buying something on speculation and you don't actually own the asset when you sell it, right? Whether you sell it at a loss. The great thing with owning the asset, obviously, is if you buy it and it dips, you can buy more and you can average your way down. I um, mean, you can average your way down in the, the long and shorts, which is what I do. But if it keeps going, you just dig in a bigger hole and a bigger hole and a bigger hole. So do I think right now is the great time to run out and buy Bitcoin? No, I don't. Uh, again, we are going to see a retrace at some point. However, you know, I don't think it would be a bad idea if you wanted to start getting in and then start scaling down, right? And I would be looking at the, you know, sub 19 for a start, right? And then you can work your way down to 18 if we get down there again. These double bottoms could easily come into play again, the 18,000. That is not locked in, in stone yet. All right, so that's where we are at the moment. Right now, we're long on Ethereum, OMG, uh, TRX. I don't really like TRX. It doesn't move as much as the others, but we did send out a signal yesterday to go long at 0 0.028, uh, which was around here. Again, it just crossed out of that uh, trading, trading channel. It was holding uh, the long EMA very nicely for a few candles. And it was making a nice little bit of a, 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 um, a nice bit of a, a flag. So we got into that one and that one's 22.8. So that one's up 4%, so 12% again. So 12% there, 12% OMG, 12% Ethereum. If you're in all of those, boom, 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 right? You've made some money. It's happy Sunday. So once again, guys, thank you for being a part of Cryptogasmic. I really believe this is the best um, crypto community on the whole planet. And we're just trying to grow it and make it better. So grab your friends, grab your family, spread the word, free trial memberships for anybody so they can try it out, see if they like it. Um, and it's just a, a great community to be a part of. All right. So that's it for me. I am going to Aventura Mall for a coffee and a bit of shopping before I jump on a plane tomorrow and head out to the Caribbean for a few weeks on business. I'll be in quarantine for five days, so you're gonna be hearing from me a hell of a lot. All right, guys, I uh, love you all. Stay active in the chat group and um, take care. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.